Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. And let's go together in this video to touch base on some automotive bases. How to test a relay. One of these relays is bad, so let's go together find out which one is going back to the car and which one will fly in the garbage can. And I will start the whole testing measuring resistance between these two terminals. Right? So here is each of those and I will put it on the ohms. I have ohms, there is an open, right? the resistance is infinite, I am just checking, everything is fine, yes, it is back to zero ohms, so I can proceed. I will start with this relay and let's see the reading. If I wait, it has approximately 116 ohms. So there is continuity. I will continue with this relay. What we will get here? 132 ohms. So both relays have continuity between these two terminals. I can show you there should be open between the other two. Right? So look, if I touch it, there shouldn't be anything changing on that multimeter. It maintains the open and this one also should be open. I hope you can perfectly see it on the multimeter. Excellent. Let's go to the step number two. And in that step I will be applying 12 volts to these two terminals. In my case it's a gold color. right? So these relays are almost identical I will say. So the gold terminals which are side by side here on the bottom we will be applying 12 volts. and trying to hear audible click. For that purpose you can see 12 volt car battery. We have those relays and bunch of test wires. So if you ever make your own testing make sure you don't shorten something. So this one the red will be my plus. It's connected to the positive and as I said make sure you connect the other jumper to the negative right they don't touch somewhere on the table so let's start with one of those relays I will connect the negative right here right and now I will carefully try to apply 12 volts and listen hopefully for audible clicking do you hear that that's a nice click. What's about the other one? Will it click? One of them is broken, so I guess this one should be not clicking, right? But listen, it's clicking too. So how come one of them is bad or how come I am claiming that one of them is bad and one of them is good? And we will find out together in the third step because when we apply 12 volts to these two and we will keep it apply here instead of opening on these two there should be continuity right so 12 volts applied here will create continuity right here so let's go and test these two and we will see the result immediately you can see the multimeter right here are the probes there is an open it's on the ohm setting let's start with this one which has some kind of writing on it and this one it's empty so i will apply it carefully once again i don't want to short something i will apply those 12 volts and it will be applied it will stay applied let's listen did you hear the click Right, and now I need to use these two probes and see if that changed and there is an opening. 
excuse me, if there is close situation and look at that one, it didn't close the circuit, there is not continuity on these two terminals. So it looks that the relay with the sprint right here it's bad. Let's confirm that again where we apply the 12 volts right right here carefully I don't want to touch these probes you heard the clicking right so I will grab it now that means the relay it's energized and there should be continuity between these two it's a little bit hard to hold it right I don't want to shorten anything but watch the multimeter you see that if I really touch it correctly, there is not opening anymore. I'm sorry, it's a little bit pain to grab it without messing up right here. Do you see that? We have a closed circuit, therefore this relay is working properly. Okay, now it's safely removed. So once again, when I applied 12 volt to these, these closed and there is continuity between these two terminals. This relay, which has no print and it's aftermarket, which I bought to replace this one, right? This is bad and this one is good. But some of you don't have a quality multimeter, right? You don't have access to it. Obviously this battery was here just for the bench test. You can use the jumper carefully and use the battery which is in the vehicle. So if you don't have any of these, right? You don't have these jumper wires, test wires, right? You don't have a multimeter. You are in a pinch. You are maybe on the side of the road and you have a problem with one of the relays. I will show you a trick how you, how you can test them really on the side of the road. And I showed you the same trick in past on this Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel and it was related to the truck, it was Tacoma, it was related to the AC. So let's say the situation, you've been driving somewhere and you had perfectly working AC, right, the air conditioning, and then you stopped, grabbed some groceries, and suddenly your AC doesn't work. So that's not because you lost the Freon from it in a few minutes. It's most likely because your relay, which looks exactly the same like the one we were just testing it over there, right, your relay finally gave up and it's bad and how you can fix that. So you open your relay and fuse box, right? There's all kinds of relays here. In the case of the AC clutch, right? You will be looking for the word or the letters like a magnetic clutch, right? It's a relay for magnetic clutch, which here on this side, it's up there in the left upper corner and it says MG slash C, right? Magnetic clutch. And when we are looking together in this box, right, you can see number one, the, these are all originals in this car, right? These are Densos from Toyota. So I will say these are the original, but that magnetic clutch, it's right there, it's this one. And if you look on all the other ones, they are actually identical. So trick is, if you think this one is bad, you just pull it out and borrow one of these, which are non-essential for starting your vehicle, right? And testing if this is bad. So if there will be horn, right? This is the horn relay. Obviously, you can pull this one out remove the one for magnetic clutch for the AC and if you switch this one there and suddenly your AC compressor goes on immediately 
Now you know that this relay was bad because the identical replacement made the AC working again. So and obviously that was the horn which was easy to borrow right if you pull this one EFI the car won't start and you will have some check engine light and so on so you have to be careful which relay you will borrow for the test so as you can see testing relays it's not very difficult and it can be done even without any tools at all so if you like this video please give it thumb up and make sure you are subscribed because I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day my friend.